Reddit user Menoraman100 uploaded a collection of UFO sightings that all show a strikingly similar pattern happening over and over again all over the world, and it's left oh, viewers wondering just what the heck is going on. In this first clip, onlookers are stunned by a strange red orb of light in the night sky. Oh, okay, so we got two people looking at it. So first of all, these two people are clearly observing. So it's either like a plane Bruh. cat footage or it's real. I don't know. Where, where are you leaning? Are you think W if you think it's legit, L if you think it's fake. Let's see. But yeah, these two people are clearly it appears to looking be dropping at it. smaller balls of light into the air. Watch them say it's uh, Neuralink, probably not Neuralink, like SpaceX thing or... Then eventually disappears altogether. It is as though dropping like some... It's, then here. It's, it's as though like this is like a mothership and it's dropping like baby UFOs. I, I know that sounds kind of like bizarre, but hey. Bruh. That's what it looks in like. In North America on the 8th of December 2019, a very similar sighting is caught on film. There. 2019. Is that oh, a snap. comet? Nah, Fire not break. a comet. Bruh! That Damn! What is that? Babe, is that a comet? I don't know what the f*** that it is. It is dropping <laughs> stuff. Watch, guys. Do you see it? <gasps> Look at that. Do you see that? Oh, whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, that one went far down. Whoa. What another one? Yet another sighting is captured in Asia showing two balls dropping smaller orbs of light. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I, I remember watching a video from security. Yet another sighting, this time in South Korea. Again, it's a very similar pattern of light. Oh, she. I've seen a video from security team where he showed a video similar to that. With night vision goggle. And there was like a massive, like, massive dot in the sky, aka the UFO, that was dropping like smaller dots, uh, aka mini UFOs. Uh, that's basically what we're perceiving as. It could have been something else, but hey man, it is a little bit suspect, for sure. For sure. So I'm assuming this one right here, and this is the one that it dropped. That's what I'm assuming right now. And it disappeared. And this thing right here as well. What's that? It's kind of similar to those street lights, but a little bit different if you look at it closely. This is wider. This is a little bit more yellowish compared to the street lights. And it's kind of... Okay, now we only have one. Okay, it dropped something. Yeah, let's fire some rounds. And finally, this event captured in South America. Oh, damn. They are here, ladies and gentlemen. Lock yourselves in the basement. The end is nigh. <laughs> uh, I, I sound like a guy that, if you have seen that 2012 movie, you know there was a guy that was on the mountain before that mountain explodes. Uh, there's a guy, uh, uh, he, he, the main actor goes on the mountain to obtain the map for the safest place, right? Where uh, we're going to have like ships and they're going to escape... Uh, from and apparently it ends up ends up exploding and the guy on that yeah guys it's the end the end is nigh ufo orbs of light is a term used to describe unidentified flying objects that are seen as glowing orbs or spheres of light in the sky these orbs can be of different colors sizes and brightness levels and they're often reported as moving in unusual or erratic ways mm. some people believe that these orbs are evidence of extraterrestrial life and that they're part of a ufo or alien craft others think that they form some sort of natural phenomenon such as ball lightning or atmospheric plasma However, there's no scientific evidence to support either of these theories, and the true nature of these orbs remains a mystery. Yeah. Some researchers- You, got, you guys think that in our lifetimes we're ever gonna find the truth? In our lifetimes. I do believe that eventually we will, but will it be in our lifetimes? Will it, will it happen in the next five years? Will it happen in the next 10 years? 20? Perhaps 50? 100? I, I think if we go past like 100 years, uh, we're probably gonna, like, let's be real, right? Like, they cannot, like, hide the truth from us for that long. Already, there's so many sightings happening. It seems like that they have been increasing 
And it also feels like that a lot more people have now gotten phones. So a lot more people are recording and, and seeing that in the sky. So it's like the activity is increasing, but not just the activity, not just the, the, the people are witnessing a lot more. It's just that a lot more people now have access to good cameras. I mean, phone cameras are not the best, yeah. but they're better than what we had. 10 years ago 20 years ago right and obviously internet is internet so once uh, somebody captures uh, they share it and then it explodes even if it's fake even if it's real right it explodes so I, I feel like that there has been a lot of activity but also a lot of people are able to capture it as well because of the technology so it's just we're at a breaking point I feel like that I, I really feel like that that the fact that government came out not long ago and confirmed that yep these are real and they're investigating i i do think they have already investigated and they're currently still investigating for sure they're studying but my point here is that they know they clearly know but to actually keep the uh the the, the population under control they're like okay guys uh, yeah we are investigating we do not know they know what it is like come on son they know what uh, all of this is right and ufo enthusiasts have suggested that the orbs are they are surely just feeding us a little bit like spoon feeding us with a little bit a little info here a little a little info there you know just here and there a little bit some kind of advanced technology that's being used by extraterrestrial beings to observe or interact with humans they suggest that the orbs are capable of changing shape color and brightness and that they've been seen to merge and split which isn't normal for any known natural occurrence However, the most common explanations for orbs is the presence of camera artifacts, dust, particles, atmospheric conditions, and insects in front of the lens, creating a lens flare effect that make the orbs appear in the footage. Ultimately though, I'll leave these strange sightings up to you, the viewer, for final judgment. Yeah, definitely odd. Definitely, definitely is bizarre. Sticking with unidentified flying orbs of light, some footage has come out of Eastern Europe that appears to show the Romanian military firing on a mysterious ball of light in the night sky. In the night sky? Those have to be tracing rounds, right? I'm assuming. But why would they fire tracing rounds? You know what I mean? Or maybe they were not tracing rounds, they were firing footage, maybe 50. Which was uploaded to Reddit okay, by... Okay, any military personnel watching this video, let me know. Because obviously, I have no experience. So, like, I'm... Bruh. Uh, I have only played video games, so that's why I was like, eh, they're firing raid, tra they're firing tracing rounds, eh. But it could be, like, 50 cal rounds, because they are likely fat, and you would probably see them, I'm assuming, in the night sky. Right. A user 67899655 allegedly shows the Romanian Navy Bruh. firing at an unidentified flying object. Wait, Romania? It was captured by a civilian image, which was uploaded to Reddit by user 67899655 allegedly shows the Romanian Navy firing at an unidentified- Romanian! Bruh. Yo, it seems like that nowadays we're hearing a lot about Romania right after the Andrew Tate situation. Like, because previously, no disrespect, but previously we were- we would never hear anything about Romania. So now apparently the UFOs are appearing in Romania as well. God damn, Fine son. flying object. It was captured by a civilian staying in a nearby town on the 2nd of September, 2021. God damn. God damn. Yeah, it seems like that they were going in. Like the incident has divided the Reddit community. Some think it's nothing more than target practice and that the Navy's firing on a stationary light as part of a training exercise. Others, however, are more convinced Bruh. that the Navy's firing at something unknown, perhaps an extraterrestrial technology. So, yeah. given the mysterious sightings in the previous segment, what do you make of this footage? What is the Romanian Suspect. military actually firing at? Let me know Hell your theories in the comments down below. Hell, I suspect. And it's not even moving, it's staying still. It's like an orb, it's like... Seems like a light source, An ancient kinda, wooden right? pamphlet that was published on August 22nd, 1678 has been discovered in Hertfordshire, England. And it seems to detail a supernatural oh, interaction shit, oh, with the devil himself. Oh, the bulletin shit. details a dispute a local farmer had with his neighbour about the mowing of a field of oats. The farmer asked his poorer neighbour to mow his field for a rather low rate of shillings. The neighbour felt he was worth much more than what was being offered and counted with a much higher rate. The farmer was outraged and declared, The devil himself should mow his oats before he should have anything to do with them. That night, several travellers passing through the area noted that the field of oats were on fire. A oh, raging damn. flame lit up the night sky with embers. 
The following morning, the farmer went to inspect his field, fully expecting a charred black mess. Instead, what he found left him and the rest of the village dumbfounded. Mm. What they discovered was that every straw and stalk of oat yeah. had been meticulously placed. Yo, thoughts on like crop circles? Because this is something I, I remember like being a kid and I remember like just uh, my friend told me about crop circles. We Googled. I didn't think much about them. And then slowly but surely started like putting two and two together, started like, because this is a very fascinating topic, right? I'm very, I'm clearly interested in this topic uh, because two of the biggest questions right now is that what happens after you die and are we alone in the universe? So this is like that second question. So it's surely, it piques my interest. It, um, if you're watching this video, it piques your interest as well. So I grew up knowing this, all right? And, and I, I would always question like, what what is it about? Like, are those crop circles just really like computer generated are they real but the more i discovered the more i like tried searching the more i found out that yeah man they are actually real surely not all of them would be real there would be some that would be made by computers i uh, would be ai generated and uh, you know designs and stuff like that not all of them would be real on the internet but crop circles is like a real phenomena a real phenomena right and then you remember i'm not sure how many of you have watched the thor movies or not but whenever thor would leave earth he would leave a crop circle behind creating an intricate circular pattern according to reports it was so detailed that it wouldn't be possible for any man to yeah. accomplish it in just one night or even 100 for that matter facts many scholars who have studied the wooden pamphlet believe it's nothing more than a simple parable warning villagers at the time not to tempt or bargain with the devil so this happened August 22nd, 1678. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you Damn. find this? However, many UFO enthusiasts believe this could be one of the earliest known documentations of a crop circle. Crop circles are large, often yeah. intricate patterns that are found in fields of crops such as wheat, barley, and corn. They first began to be widely reported in the 1970s in southern England yeah. and have since been found in many other countries around the world. The like, you, you see this, the, the, the last one, it's like, just doesn't seem real. Is this image like AI generated or is it real? That that's I feel like that this one is AI generated. I would have been believing this more if it just was like one circle. Maybe like the smaller dot circle here, but not like the entire thing. I, I, I know he's like presenting, he's having like some B-roll footage, B-roll shots and images like that. So that's what I'm saying. It's very hard to say which one is real, which one is not, because you already know this could be AI generated, this could be an art somebody made uh right so it, it's just one of those things but crop circles do exist they are real they happen it's a natural phenomenon i guess and the the speculation and the 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 conspiracy is that whenever a ufo lands in a in a in a field like that it leaves its mark it tells you that we're not alone this is kind of like one of those uh, many other countries things. around the world the circles typically range in size from a few feet to several hundred feet in diameter and okay. can take on a wide variety of shapes, including circles, spirals, and geometric patterns. There are several theories about the origins of crop circles. One popular theory is that they're created by natural phenomena such as tornadoes <laughs> or underground water. Yeah. Another theory is that they're just man-made, created by hoaxes using planks of wood or ropes to flatten crop Stop the cow. in circular patterns. However, many people believe that crop circles are the work of extraterrestrial beings created as a form of communication or as a yep. sign of their presence here on Earth. Yeah, I believe that. This I believe is that one personally. of the most perplexing crop circles ever discovered. Yep. In July bro, 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 bro. Okay, I heard the story. I'm not sure if he's going to tell it or not, but this is like near Stonehenge, right? Stonehenge. And apparently this picture, if I'm not mistaken, was captured by a pilot. So that pilot was here. He flew, flew by around this area, didn't see anything, came back, I, I believe, like approximately 30 to 45 minutes later on the on the way back, and he did see this. This one is so complex. And and you gotta understand that, like, what we're talking, we're probably easily talking a thousand feet in the sky, right? So this one is massive. You see these, these cars? They're so tiny, so little. Th this car is probably fitting into this second smaller dot area right these bigger dots this is way too big it's like a scorpion kind of right it's it's massive it is massive 
humans cannot. Humans cannot. Really can. July 1996, this enormous pattern was discovered in a field adjacent to the famous Neolithic monument Stonehenge. I the imprint is an intricate explain. fractal design known as a Julia set, a combination of complex numbers that don't converge to any limit. The curious thing about this crop circle is the way it seemed to appear out of nowhere in broad daylight. Yeah. Stonehenge, which is just metres from the discovery, has a near constant stream of tourists and is under 24 hour surveillance by security guards. No one reported seeing any activity in the neighboring field. Okay, I, I personally don't don't know much about Stonehenge. I'm assuming it's probably like stones. Yeah. So why do they need constant security? It's just like an area. It seems like it's just stones there. Why they're probably heavy, like nobody's gonna steal it. So constant security, maybe like drop, maybe have like one security guard there. So if somebody tries to bring their truck over and tries to steal a stone, then he can be, he can call the Popo, call the Babylon and that's it. But to have like multiple security guards, I, I don't understand. There has to be something sinister uh, going on, okay? The A303 highway slices right between the field and Stonehenge. Motorists travel the busy road day and night, yet no one witnessed any activity in the field. Yeah. Several drivers did, however, report an unusual mist hanging in the meadow. Stranger still, busy nearby Thruxton Airport often runs tourist flights over Stonehenge. On the day of discovery, a pilot claims he was flying over Stonehenge late Sunday afternoon and didn't notice anything unusual in the fields below. Just 45 minutes later, on his return run, he spotted the enormous 274 yep, it was not 30 minutes, it was 45 minutes. Meter, which is around 900 feet shape below. Damn. This suggests that someone or something managed to create an elaborate crop circle in plain sight in under 45 minutes without any witnesses whatsoever. Yeah. So what's your take on crop circles then? Are they all just hoaxes or could it really be aliens making contact? Mm. Let me know your theories in the comments down Thoughts? below. Thoughts, dudes? I, again, though, you need to be open to the idea of, hey, what if this is not like ufo alien made right what if this is like a hoax i don't i i, I don't believe it's a hoax I, I think it's a natural phenomena but again though like i'm a believer but still you gotta be open to like a different side different idea as well right before we take a look at something truly mysterious Mars? that's been spotted in a set of NASA official photographs, Has remember to hit that subscribe button, then yep. tickle that little bell icon there hit and turn bell. on all hit channel that notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our creepy and weird videos. Yes, sir. Hit the bell, hit the bell, we're trying to grow and hit the subscribe bell. A Reddit bell user on by the Slack name of OxConnect1 well. has made a pretty wild discovery in a set of NASA's publicly released Mars rover images, and it's left the Reddit community baffled. Of course. These snaps were taken by NASA's Spirit Rover, which was in operation from 2004 to 2010. In that time, the Mir A Exploration Rover took hundreds of images of the sparse Martian landscape. Mm. However, in one particular set, a strange anomaly has been spotted. In this Moving set, off. which was enhanced by the OP, you can see a rock that seems to appear and disappear over a series of slides. Here you can see the rock highlighted by the yellow arrow. In the following image, it's gone. Yeah, uh, there has been so many conspiracies about Mars. There are some that I'm familiar with. There's there's other that I'm not. And I never really dug deep into this uh, topic that much. But but the, 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 the theories you constantly hear is that there was life thousands, if not millions and millions of years ago on this planet. You guys believe in that? You don't believe in that? You think it was always a planet like where nobody was at? You all, you think that this planet was always sort of inhabited or was there life before? I, I don't know, man. It's really, no one would know the answer. Maybe they, they know, maybe they have found some evidence, but will they ever tell us? Probably not. So if you're not a scientist, if you're not an astronaut if you're not a person that ha has the evidence let's say of someone existing or not existing or life existing on this planet or not existing you wouldn't know you would not know so no one no one from us knows right let's be real uh it's all theory speculation but it's it's just odd it, it really is odd it really is odd then 10 sol days later a sol day is just 40 minutes longer than a day here on earth 
You can Bruh. see what appears to be the same rock, but now it's over on the left. Mm. Some viewers thought it was just Photoshop trickery due to the enhanced filter that the OP used. However, here are the original NASA images taken from the rover. As you oh, scroll shoot. through them, you can indeed see the rock move from one location to another. Okay, this one. Yeah, thank you for putting that red circle. Because otherwise, I was like looking at all the rocks. Okay, so it's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see that. So you see right here, uh, you, that little like shit right there. It's not on on here in the second image. All right, that's the one. Is that the one that he's talking about? Probably. So Some moved. commenters suggested it could just be a trick of perspective, as the rover does change position slightly over the course of several sol days. Perhaps as it moves, it reveals the rock. But that doesn't seem to explain why it appears to be in a different location entirely on several of the images. So how do you explain this Martian mystery? How could that rock be moving? Unless more info comes to hand or NASA makes an official statement, this bizarre sighting will have to remain an enigma. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. I'm telling y'all, man, if you have already seen it, then click the video on the left and I will see you right there.